Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to talk about the elusive standard tuning slide guitar. The reason I started playing slide in standard tuning was for two reasons. I didn't want to have to change guitars and I didn't want to have to relearn shapes that I already know on the guitar. Slide is tricky. You have to learn a completely new set of skills. It's like playing, you know, if you're a bass player, it's like playing with a bow. You know, it's, it's just a different, it's a different bag of tricks. I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about playing behind the slide. And I want to talk about incorporating things that you know in standard tuning and playing it with a slide. Let's do it. I know that these three strings, D, G, and B, is a major triad. That's just a G chord, okay? So what I've learned is the different inversions of this chord up the neck. We have a G, we have a G, which is 5th fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret, and then we have 9th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, and then back to 12, 12, and 12, which is just the octave of this. So we can play that with a slide. Check it out. I'm going to hit the slide here on the 5th fret. When you're playing slide, remember, you've got to be right above the fret in order for it to be intonated. And then what I do is I take these two fingers, whatever fingers you have behind the slide, okay, you are just pushing down. So what happens is they just sneak underneath the slide so you're hearing actual notes. If I didn't have it, these fingers down, you'd hear this. So right now I'm going from a G chord to a C voicing, which is just 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret. Okay, you can do the same thing here. On this G voicing, I'm hitting this note on the 9th fret of D string, and I'm hitting these two notes behind the slide, which is pushing the strings. So you can hear these notes, and then you can do it here. Okay, different voicings. Now what if I wanted to play a minor chord. Well, that's nearly impossible, right? Wrong. We can play, let's say this is a D major triad, and let's not say that it is. We know that it's a D major triad. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever fingers behind. Like, lots of great players play with their slide on the third fret. I can talk. Lots of great players play with the slide on the third finger. Lots of great players play with the slide on their fourth finger, whatever works for you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push that major third. We have a D major triad here. How do you make a major chord minor? Well, guess what? You flatten the third, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this note and we're gonna flatten it down. But we need to push that note down underneath the slide, okay? Quick note, if your action's low, this is gonna be brutal for you. Okay, you need to have somewhere in between where it's high enough that you're not getting buzzing, but not too high where you can still play the guitar and not hate yourself. This isn't typically a guitar that I play slide on. I have my guitar that I do play slide on is getting repaired right now, but this will do the trick. We're gonna get a D major triad. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the minor third. There we are. Be a little fickle. Right? You can get these really, really cool sliding sounds that's more than just major. Let's say you wanted to do dominant seven. Right? Well, you're gonna play the same thing and you're gonna hit the dominant seven. cool I know I know another thing that we talk about when playing slide in standard tuning let's take a lick that we already know something simple right let's do suddenly it has a different flavor same notes I'm thinking the same thing but you're presenting it differently let's pick another riff that we can do in standard tuning and now do it with a slide. Let's check it out. What about, um... One 
awesome shape that you can get a lot of mileage out of in standard tuning playing slide is these major shapes here. So D major chord or you know G major chord, whatever whatever major chord you're playing. Maybe let's think in E for a second. But adding somewhere in between a minor third and a major third, it's kind of there. You know what I mean? It's not major. It's not minor. It's there. kind of just milk notes, which is super, super duper cool. Also playing licks that you know, but doing it on one string so you can really maximize what the slide can deliver. So Sometimes I will hit the last two notes with a finger. You can kind of wander outside and then come back in with a fretted note. Anyway, I hope this sheds a bit of light on the subject of standard tuning, slide guitar. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out. I love nerding out about this kind of stuff. Hopefully we can take your playing to the next level. If there's any suggestions of things that you would like to learn, I'd be happy to do a small little video on it and then we can touch base a little more in depth if you want to. Anyway, cheers. I hope everyone is doing well. Keep playing that guitar.